Hello everyone, Doc on the Clock with more Mega Maker Madness. Except today is a little bit special. Uh, it's not today as I'm recording this, but uh, on the day that this is going up, it just so happens that it will be my birthday. <laughs> and not just any birthday, but the big 35. I can hardly believe it. How did I make it this far? Just avoiding danger, I suppose. Anyway, for this occasion, I decided... That's not what I wanted to do. I decided I was going to play all of these six levels that show up when you search for 35. Why? Because I didn't have any better ideas. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to be playing all of these. There's only six of them, so it shouldn't take too long, right? Uh, well, this one's got 64 downvotes, so maybe it'll take longer than you think. But I will, uh, I'm going to be playing these in uh, order of lowest to highest uh, vote ratio. So, Mega Hell 35, no pressure. I will, uh, I will abandon this if it, uh, <laughs> if it is bad enough. But, <coughs> I will at least give it a shot. Oh, well, it's quick loading time, so... Maybe it won't take long, but... <laughs> And, uh, maybe my controller won't respond, so, uh, I'll have to, uh, quickly figure out what's going on with that. Alright, and we're back. Just had to get the, uh, get my controller to be recognized. Oh, okay, um, so... What I wasn't paying attention to, I don't have a slide. Uh, this really does feel like it could be hell. I'm not sure how this is even possible. <laughs> I hope you like listening to the start of Cutman's music 8,000 times in a row. Okay, but seriously, is that actually possible? I have yet to see evidence that that second one can actually be cleared. See, I don't think that I can actually do anything more efficiently. I am pressed all the way. I am... Starting out with my directional uh, pad being pressed, so the moment I spawn in a can move, I'm moving. I can't pre-prepare moving back to the left too early because my head clips the uh, the beam above. Um. So yeah, I don't actually think that this is possible. Which means we are going to exit, and we're going to flag this as unbeatable. And this is the part of the video where I realize that uh, my hotkey for stopping my recording is the 
apostrophe button. Oops. <coughs> well, I only went through part of this stage, so there's still more that I haven't seen, so we'll, uh, we'll restart and get to it. The challenge of 35 rooms. It's got a minus one uh, net, but that's better than the last one for sure. Thirty-five rooms. It's gonna be a little bit of loading time. I mean that makes sense. It's thirty-five rooms. It's like mansion sized. Might be even bigger than mansion sized. If your mansion is thirty-five rooms, you probably have too many rooms. There's a limit to how much mansion you can really use properly. Maybe if you had, like, a family of 30, but in that case, you probably have too much family. <laughs> okay, it's taking its sweet time. There we go. Challenge of 35 rooms. All right. Let me get one E tank and one M tank to start things out. And, uh, surprise hitch of things. Uh, don't remember that either, but whatever. And we get to take a good bit of damage because, as usual, knights are impossible to dodge. How can you possibly get around? They shoot in three directions. That's so many directions. It's like three of them. And next up, we have the challenge of complete and utter tedium. This is not a challenge. This is just making things go slowly for the sake of making things go slowly. Challenges are about actual difficulty. We're going to have a few of those here. That is just the way it is. We can also have me just ramming my face into enemies, too. That's perfectly normal. Really normal for a dock playthrough, at least. Alright, and this one you just want to rush. But we don't have rush, so we just have to hurry up as best as we can. A lot of this is just basically about how much damage can you avoid taking in a very short amount of time, because essentially your main problem is the, uh, the health bar. I'm kind of in uh, not the greatest of positions here. And unfortunately, tops are designed so you can't just grind off of them. If these do drop health here. I, uh, I have seen it and lived it, but, uh, you sometimes take a long time to do so. There was health there. I did not realize that I had taken too much damage. All right, well, starting over, it is what it is. There will be a checkpoint. At least one. Yeah. Wait, 
Did Fred not respond as I think? I don't know what I think. It's the worst possible thing. Those two can do it. Go do what they want. I'm not desperate for help, so I don't have to be quite as, uh... uh risk taking to try and get it. They really didn't need to be doubled up, I don't think. These guys take long enough as it is. Try to thread the needle, the thread broke there. Alright. Easy strategy for the cat. And that means you can take out the fleas pretty quickly. Alright, and we have a checkpoint. And you know what that means? Free health refill. <laughs> and we can take one then. I'm taking shine. Yeah, well, it's hard. You get your choice of do you want a shield that reflects bullets or explosions? Surprisingly difficult decision, to be perfectly honest. But uh, I'm gonna play more defensively. I don't actually know what the most optimal decision is, but... What I do know is that that takes a heck of a lot of your shine. Also, that was terribly done. I'm probably going to be very, very unhappy with how things go for the rest of the level. Ah, no health there. Well, we do get a little bit here. And we do get to use our handy dandy shield. It's a great effect there! And then, it's my favorite room! Bubbles! And this should safely get us back to full health. If it doesn't, uh, the RNG has been horribly, horribly unkind to us. Anyway, it's time for a massive bubble massacre. They just keep getting destroyed. Who's responsible for this nightmare? Well, whoever put them in the stage, really, because how was I not going to destroy every single one of these? I only took six rows to actually get help. Everyone will fall! The bubbles have all been popped! Just as they ought to be. Alright, now we have Woolera. Now we have Gemini Man stage. I don't like the instant death. Uh oh. Alright. 
We've got lots of shield attackers. Maybe we should get some ones that actually are good at what they do. <laughs> Impossible! You can't be good to be a shield attacker. Ooh. I don't suppose these reflect. That's a mess. <laughs> it's actually just better to tank it. Okay, you are just, um... See, that works. Shine was the perfect decision. <laughs> Never mind, that bomb's probably would have done that faster. But we've got sliding silliness with bullets. Needles count as bullets. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is a room that I don't want to linger in. All right. Let's get a free health refill. <coughs> and this time we are definitely taking dive missile because dive missile is awesome. I don't know what those are for, but I think they're probably for making sure you didn't somehow uh, get any keys. Uh, that you didn't use. Yeesh, that was a messy room. But yeah, I think that's just to clear out keys that you might have somehow cheesed. I'm not sure how you can do that. Oop. No, okay, it's Yoku box. about having patience. And paying attention to the fact that the Red Death Laser is about to be exposed. That was a little bit of inattentiveness issues on my part. Remember, kids, red means death. That's how it's always meant, right? Yellow hurts, and uh, green is the color of grass types, which are good at using draining moves, so... <laughs> it all makes sense, right? What we got here? Oh, boy. Um, this is... This is... I don't like this. Just too many enemies. I'm getting flashbacks of Bolt Grey Wing. secret room, which kind of got fairly well exposed to me. Also, since I can only carry one arm tank. Now I need to make sure I don't die. Ah. 
Oh boy. Okay. It's a whole lot of platforming gimmicks. Those are spikes above my head. Oh boy, that was... that was a scary room. Just remember, you can slide under any number of spikes. Okay, this is going to be a long way back. Fortunately, this is a room that you can restart. And we're all the way up to 27. I would not have minded having another checkpoint, though. Maybe we'll get one in a few rooms here. You is hit, Crystal. After I do all the work reflecting you. Ah. Well, it hit, but it didn't hit what I wanted it to. Please, but register that I'm actually uh, hitting you. I am trying to fire off my shield, and it was not firing off. This is literally just ice blocks, so. I. I take it back, it's the hardest challenge of all. Because I can't stop frickin' hitting that one with my face! There. Let's just sit here and let this stuff happen. At least for a moment. I don't get the whole, uh... Oh, one of our enemies got destroyed, so now we can't bounce forever. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All right. Let's go get our free uh, <coughs> health refill here. I have one offensive and one defensive weapon so far. What's better? The skull barrier, another shield, or perfect freeze, another attacking weapon? Wait, actually I have two defensive weapons. I already have plant there. Alright, so let's balance things out. Thirty-one! Alright, well, it's not a hurry up and wait, but... Oh, 
this, I have to also get back this way. Which really wasn't that much of a problem at all, but, I mean, yeah. The slow way, but it's the safe way. It's until I run out of this, and that's going to be, like, right now. Ah, did the job enough. I can be happy with that. Yeah, that, that didn't seem like it was going to go well at all. Ah, dang it. I'd say even Skull Barrier is not particularly well suited for that. If there's Leaf Shield, now that would be much more effective. Oh no, I hit I hit the jump button. Oh, nah! The ones so close to the ceiling are the ones that are the biggest problem. because that's what's safe. Uh, for a given definition of safe, I get. <laughs> oh boy. Drill riding is a bear at the best of times. Oh, shoot, shoot. This is some Citadel basement nonsense. Uh, I have to go in after them, too. Alright, we made it to 35. And get to restore all of our weapons, because we used a ton of them. And, hi, Sparkman, you are our enemy. Jeez, uh, getting to you is going to be quite the thing. Okay. First thing I want to do is clear out everything that I can do. All those goodies that I could really use, but... Alright, well that was a easy little refill. Take out everything that could be in the way. Okay. 
That's not gonna work either. By this point, we can just use the boss. We have taken care of the massive amount of garbage that was thrown at us. And all we have left are a few tellies and a couple of shots from a foothold. And Sparkman himself, but... Sparkman himself is just fine. Well, that was long, but that was also enjoyable. I thought it was kind of, uh, it kind of dragged on a bit, and the last, uh, area I think could have used a little bit of less insta-death, but... I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. Congratulations. 